Hi Scorpio, welcome to December 2017. Wow, what a month for you. All paths lead to Scorpio. Love, money, career opportunities are chasing after you. <laughs> this is so exciting. Now you know you have Jupiter in your sign working for you. And Jupiter will make an exact trine, positive energy flow, to Neptune exact on the 2nd and then on May 25th and August 19th, 2018. So this energy is going to be around for a while and that is extraordinary. This is a very spiritual energy, it's a very uplifting energy, it's a healing energy, it's an inspiring energy and it is all about uplifting you and inspiring you and empowering you to have emotional satisfaction in your career and in your personal life. So I really see you in demand here in December and of course going into the new year which is rocking awesome. <laughs> Venus enters Sagittarius on the first and then Mercury retrogrades December 3rd through the 22nd. Right after Mercury retrogrades, a few hours later, we have the Gemini full moon on the 3rd. So we have Mercury taking his turn to reverse, and the Gemini full moon is being T-squared by Neptune. Both lights, the sun and the moon, are being challenged by Neptune. So we have a lot of nebulous energy here, and it can be a creative, it can be spiritual, it can be fun not the best time to make important decisions. Now, for you, it's happening in a very personal area of your life, the Gemini full moon, and the, with the Neptune in that area of true love and romance, you know, there may be something brought to light about someone you, you are, you know, dating or romantically involved with that um, you may not like. And so, you want to, uh, you know, pay attention to what is being revealed to you at the time of the Gemini full moon, uh, you know, with Neptune challenging like this, you know, it's, it's very easy for, uh, for you to idealize someone or idealize a situation and not see people for who they really are. Although at this time it will be, you know, full moons bring things to conscious awareness. So it will be brought to light, you know, something you may not have known about this person, what they're up to, what they're doing, and, you know, how that is um, not cool with you, you know, so whether they've been deceiving you or, you know, lying or, you know, some sort of betrayal, uh, you know, if there's any trust issues brought to light at the time of the Gemini full moon, it's, it's to help you so that you are not wasting time on people or someone who's not right for you. And, uh, you know, so if, if there's any kind of feeling discouraged about some truth being brought to light, um, it's to empower you so that you're focusing on what's good for you rather than wasting time on uh, someone who's not deserving of you and so be aware of that I mean it, it's still a fun energy with the Sagittarius and the Gemini it's the party time of year it's celebrating it's fun you know so there's a lot of positive energy it's just that you know when Neptune challenges like this uh, we have to pay attention to what's going on and with Mercury retrograde and you know maybe this person has borrowed some money from you and you know said they would pay it back and they didn't it could be something like that for some of you dealing because it's also coming out of your money uh, area of your chart and so it could be something to do with that um, and so just you know pay attention to what's going on and you know stay grounded because this is a very ethereal energy very spiritual energy and with mercury retrograde you know, we can be very excited about things. You got a lot coming at you, and it's good, and it's exciting. You can be distracted by that, and uh, 
you know, come to find out this person is not honorable and so on. Now Mars into Scorpio on the 9th. And so you'll be out there with your sword in hand, you know, cutting through any of the baloney, cutting through the weeds, cutting through what's ever in the way of your path, and it's good. But Mars energizes whatever he touches. So he's energizing you. He's strengthening you. He's empowering you. And Mars is the traditional ruler of Scorpio, so he's very happy being in Scorpio. And so you've got a very happy Mars empowering you, inspiring you, bringing you new beginnings, uplifting your self-image, making you feel really good about yourself. And of course you have Jupiter there too. And so it's, it's as if all paths lead to Scorpio. Things are being brought to you. Love is being brought to you. Money is being brought to you. Career opportunities are being brought to you. They're chasing after you in December. So don't waste time on, on anyone or anything that isn't deserving of you because you want to create the space for better offers to come in. You want to create the space for a better lover, better partner to come in and be with you because they're being brought to you and it's amazing. And you're just going to be able to cut through you know, anything that's in your way and you are going to be feeling really energized and it's exciting. Now the Sagittarius new moon is on the 18th and I like this moon. I like both these moons actually. I do like the Gemini full moon if we're using it you know the right way which is for spiritual and creativity. Um, now the Sagittarius new moon that's like you know cappuccino city. Right? The Gemini full moon is we're drunk on wine, you know, we're drinking with the, with the Neptune. But over here with, the, with Uranus trining everything in Sagittarius, Uranus is the espresso. It's like, whoa, I see the light. I see what's going on. And there's five planets in Sagittarius. You have the sun and the moon coupled together in Sagittarius. You have Venus in Sagittarius. Mercury retrograde camped out in Sagittarius. And you have Saturn right at the end in Sagittarius. Saturn is at 29 degrees 46 minutes right at the end of Sagittarius at the new moon and they're all trining positive energy flow with Uranus, the awakener, the liberator, the innovator. And so for you, you could be you know coming up with all kinds of new uh, money-making ideas. Prosperity is really on the menu here. <laughs> prosperity is being served and that's because you have so many planets in the area of your money your resources your earning ability your self-worth self-appreciation and it's being in, ha harmonized with Uranus out of the area of your work your work habits your health your health habits and they you know trying up to your 10th house destiny in the world ruled by Leo and so there's a lot of firepower here for you that's all about building up your self-worth, self-appreciation, your true values, your money, your resources. So for some of you, you could be finding that you're spending money in December on luxury items. And that's exciting too. It's really amazing in here. Now, I really like this, this new moon. So you want to set your intention for prosperity. You want to set your intention for what you want to create, of course, in the next 30-day cycle from the new moon, but also what you want to create in the new year. Because this is a very inspiring new moon. It is almost like the universe is gifting you something before Saturn moves into Capricorn the next day. And so the universe is empowering you to create greater wealth, greater abundance, you know, so what is it that you want? Set your intention and, and allow the universe to bring it to you. And it's always good to do it in the, in the affirmative. Thank you universe for fill in the blank. This great new work opportunity. Thank you universe for more money than I could possibly spend. Thank you universe for the soulmate of my dreams come true. <laughs> Whatever it is your heart's desire, say it in the affirmative as if you already have it, then you're lined up with it. 
so you can bring it right in. And then the next day, the Saturn enters Capricorn. So the, the 18th is the Sagittarius New Moon, the 19th, Saturn enters Capricorn. And Saturn is, is most happiest in Capricorn because he rules Capricorn. So he's home now and he's happy to be home and he's going to stay in Capricorn longer than he did in Sagittarius. So while he was in Sagittarius, you know, and up until the 19th, this is a time for you to look at your beliefs, your beliefs around your money, your beliefs around what you love and value as well as what has he taught you these last few years about what really matters to you, what you really want. You've been really honing in on that. What do I want? What do I love and value? What is most important to me? What is the story I tell around my money? What is the story I tell about my resources, my values? Is it time to tell a new story? Have your beliefs evolved? This is a time to really look at you know, how your beliefs have evolved over these past few years. Now with him shifting into Capricorn, things are going to get really serious because Sirius Saturn in his home sign is powerful. This is an extremely powerful placement for Saturn. And Saturn examines and tests whatever he touches. And he's been in the money area for the past two and a half years. Now he's moving into communication, speaking, writing, teaching, short distance travel, your conscious awareness. And so here is an opportunity for you to evaluate how you think and communicate to have what you want. And the day after Saturn enters Capricorn, the sun enters Capricorn on the 20th and you have winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, summer solstice in the southern hemisphere. That's another power day that you can set your intention for what you want to create in the next season. And this is important. Now Capricorn sextile Scorpio. So this is actually a favorable placement for you and an easier placement than having him in your money house. Scorpios are Sagittarians when it comes to their money. Having Saturn move into Capricorn will empower you to create more wealth through your communication skills. And it's the easiest placement for Saturn is in, in this part of the chart. And that's good. But sex telling you does create opportunity for you. Opportunity to socialize, opportunity to get the word out, opportunity to, to spread your wings and fly, opportunity for you to um, you know, let the world know you're there and what you're up to and what you're doing. Then, of course, the sun enters on the 20th, and then Mercury stations direct on the 22nd. This is good news. Yay, Mercury direct! And then you have Venus entering Capricorn on the 25th. So now we have Sun, Venus, and Saturn all in Capricorn. Sextiling, Scorpio. Wow, what a great way to end the month and go into the new year. It's a, it's a grounding energy. It's a practical energy. And Saturn rewards hard work. Jupiter can give us things. But Saturn doesn't give us anything unless we've earned it. And so your perseverance and your patience, everything you've overcome these many years of setbacks and challenges, you're now going to see the reward with Saturn in Capricorn. Opportunities are going to be brought to you, but you do want to put some effort into it. You know, sometimes when things are flowing, we don't, we don't put as much effort into things. So it's important to put the effort in so that you get the results you want and you move up in what you're doing. And that's very exciting. 
Now, for those of you open for love, it's on, and it could be brought right to you. In fact, you could find that they're chasing after you. <laughs> is is just amazing. Is that um, people want to be with you, and they're chasing after you, and it's being brought right to you. Is what I'm seeing. Is the love is being brought right to you. So you want to get yourself ready. That's why you don't want to be wasting your time on people from your past or people that aren't doing it for you so that you're creating that space for people that really want to love you and give to you come into your life and you can receive it we have to be able to receive to to have what we want and so make sure that you're working on that self-esteem self-respect self-appreciation self-image so that you're going to be ready to receive that soulmate twin flame, divine partner, highest complimentary partner, the right one for you as the universe brings that person to you. For those of you coupled, um, this is a wonderful energy to um, you know, celebrate your love, celebrate the relationship, enjoy each other, feel really satisfied in the partnership, in the connection you know and shower each other with love and the wonderful luxury gifts that you're buying uh, for your partner it's exciting it's exciting I can just see you feeling really satisfied emotionally in your personal life in your career money looks excellent the money is really being energized here the prosperity and more of it is coming to you through the work that you do and promotion that's being offered to you new job offers are coming in for you and especially after mercury goes direct it's it's they're chasing after you and um, you know that's why you want to you know wait until Mercury's direct before you make that final decision on what you want to take for those of you that you know really feel satisfied in what you're doing the work you're doing you know this be a time of expansion expanding in clients expanding in customers expanding in patients expanding in whatever you're doing it is a time where you're feeling really satisfied in your personal life in your professional life where things are going you just love that it's being brought to you you've had to work very hard for so long and now you're seeing the reward and you're going to continue to see that reward here in the new year and it's amazing spiritually you know take that time to meditate take that time to ground especially at the uh, Gemini full moon you know take your time there Health looks good, especially with Mars in your sign. You're going to have more energy. You can build more muscle. The more you work out, the more muscle you build, the stronger you feel, the better you feel, the better life is. It's all connected, the mind-body-spirit connection. But it's just off the charts for you, Scorpio. It is absolutely happening for you, and it's only getting better. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing. And Google Plus in my videos. Scorpio, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your astrology, it's very easy. The link is below in the show more section. It's also up in the cards. It's very easy. You go to my astrology page. You purchase a consultation upon checkout. Get the link to my schedule. And we're working together. Or if you're interested in coaching, you want to talk about a new business idea, or promotion or business expansion or love it's very easy the link is below it's also up in the cards you go to my coaching page you purchase a session upon checkout get the link to my schedule and we're coaching you so until next time Scorpio it's all being brought to you they're chasing after you it doesn't get any better than that <laughs> happy holidays and happy new year